The giving tree is a bad model of boundaries, but so is the Instagram new age. I'm at capacity right now and I cannot speak with you. Let's talk about it. The giving tree model of boundaries is become a self-sacrificial dead stump. Give everything that you can to everyone around you. That is morally good, praiseworthy, go-go gadget. Hooray for you! Some of the moral foundation of this way of thinking comes from Christian theology, the no greater love than to lay down your life. World War One, Dual Jets, Coromass, Pro Patria Mori, like you should just die for your country, though that poem I think is older than that. It's been a minute since I learned any Latin and a hat tip to Dr. Kate Mann's book. Uh, I took it off the shelf already. Down Girl, The Logic of Misogyny, where she analyzes the giving tree uh, in the final chapter. While this is certainly laudable, and I don't want to come off as saying like self-sacrifice in heroic situations is bad, not at all remotely what I'm saying, in the real world, in the day-to-day, -day, uh, Jesus came back from the dead, according to the Christians, but you're, you're going to end up as a dead stump. Contrast this to what Dr. Marissa G. Franco is classifying as new age boundaries, these intensely rigid ones. This kind of way of thinking is a survival strategy of late stage capitalism that also is a sort of transactional, intense individualism that ironically is the moral foundation of the very late stage capitalism that is killing us slowly. And also to be clear, there is a place for this, just as there's a place for self-sacrifice in certain times of intense need, there's also a place for self-protection in times of intense need. Put your own oxygen mask on first, etc. But like Aristotle gave us in the concept of the golden mean, the, the Goldilocks theorem for all intents and purposes, or like Dr. King gave us in his 1967 speech, where do we go from here? What I'm saying to you this morning is communism forgets that life is individual. Capitalism forgets that life is social. Brotherhood is found not in the thesis of communism nor the antithesis of capitalism, but in a higher synthesis that combines the truths of both. So what is our synthesis between this old way of viewing the world and this new way of viewing the world? What goes in this box? Survey says, chapter seven of Marissa G. Franco's book, Platonic. You think I was gonna tell you everything? No, 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 you got homework. Okay, okay, well, I will tell you one thing, which is that she calls them communal boundaries in chapter seven. But why are we talking about this book? As you may have heard, we are covering Platonic in the Community Book Report TikTok's biggest book collab that exists. We are releasing that video on May 26th, and you are invited. I will link the original launch video below with the details. We want you to join us and read along with us. There's a Discord. It's happening. Happy reading.